All right, you guys, so I'm pretty excited to share this amazingly crazy cool news with you. I cannot wait to tell you what just happened yesterday. If you haven't heard, then you might want to pay attention to what I'm about to say next. What's up, you guys? This is Donna. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm really excited, you guys, because there's been some great, like, pretty big news that's been happening in the PA scope of things. Um, and so if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I'm a PA. I make PA-related videos. What does a PA stand for? That is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Um, if you like what you see after you take a look around, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Donna the PA. Okay? All right. So this is the time when we go to APA and if you don't know what APA is it is our like national PA conference and um, during APA there are a lot of various different uh, motions being ruled upon and voted into like existence and all of these different like edicts and things like that right so this is where our governing body and uh, kind of the leaders of the PA profession go and they kind of make decisions on what we're going to be all about moving forward and one such decision is the PA name change now many of you have been asking me questions about the PA name change is the PA name going to change what does that mean for us um, and you know I honestly didn't know because we were voting on this we were uh, getting sent various different kinds of like um, surveys on what name we liked, which name sounds best. There are names like medical practitioner, um, physician associate, there were some other like random names as well, but there were like three that were kind of being kicked around on what we were gonna choose. And this past Monday, y'all, this is what happened. So the PA name was changed to physician associate. Yes! <laughs> I am now Adana the PA, but my PA no longer stands for Physician Assistant. It stands for Physician Associate. So now a lot of you are like, well, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, whatever. You're still a PA. Um, and I mean, I am hashtagging still a PA all over the place because yes, I am still a PA and my job, you know, like description I guess you can say in terms of what I do um, in my day-to-day -day work does not change but you guys being a physician associate as opposed to a physician assistant is big and let me tell you why so there are a lot of things that you have to think about when you see a name like what's in a name right you know your parents give you these names and they give you the names with meanings behind them with the hopes of you kind of fulfilling some of these meanings sometimes they think oh it just sounds right but names have meaning and being a pa a physician assistant um when my patients come in and they see me you know I always introduce myself as a PA. Uh, that's kind of been the push that AAPA has been having us do for the past couple years. Um, they've really moved away from using physician assistant uh, in all of their various different literature. It's been PA. And I think that's in part because they wanted this change to happen. That's just my two cents, but you know, I think that that's how it went. However, in my day-to-day -day work, I'm like, hey, my name is Adana, I'm the PA that's gonna be seeing you today. Um, and you go about that way so that's not going to change but i have a little name tag and underneath my little name tag it says physician assistant and when somebody looks at that and they see assistant there is a connotation that goes with that sometimes negative um you know sometimes it doesn't even really matter to them but when you think of an assistant you think of uh, like somebody that is mediocre, I guess you could say, or not the boss, not the person that is actually directing your care, or not the person that you really want to speak to, you want to speak to their head. And that gives a little bit of kind of a negative connotation on the PA profession and PAs in general and what we do as practitioners. So when you go to associate, it's different. There's a different ring to it. There's a different feel. You feel like a new person. And I just want to tell you exactly why. Let me go ahead and read this for you. So I wanted to talk about specifically assistant and what that meant in terms of the definition of the word assistant and then the definition of the word associate and you can see like the various different nuances okay so when we go to assistant it says a person who ranks below a senior person okay a person who helps in particular work 
so yeah we are physician assistants we do help the the physician in particular work um, and yeah we do rank below them you know they are attendings but at the same time there are some negative connotations that those various different terms when kicked around can be taken from that um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you feel bad about where you're at in your status but maybe there are like some attendings who are like oh you're just the assistant and they don't appreciate what you do but again let's look at the word associate okay so when it says comes to associate it says a partner or colleague in business or at work and I think that absolutely epitomizes who we are as PAs. We are partners with our attendings. We collaborate them. We are their colleagues. Um, they talk to us. Um, my attendings, like there are some of them that actually like say, oh, well, what do you think, Adano? What do you think? What medication do you think they should go home on? What antibiotics do you want to send them home on? And like, it makes me feel good because they're actually asking my opinion on something. This is not just them directing me to just do this, that, and the other. They are collaborating with me and we're making these decisions together you guys and so this epitomizes who we are as practitioners and who we will be moving forward and so I know that this is gonna take a lot of you getting used to um, thank God I didn't put Adana the physician assistant on any of my um, <laughs> my like white coat um my name it was not the pa and i'm happy about that because now we've made this change and i don't really have to do too much rebranding so that is great i'm happy about that but i'm really just happy about the future and what that looks like and the possibilities that we have moving forward because this is gonna take um some years for it to really set in, I think, in terms of the old guard getting in with the new guard, right? And I think as we move with like all of these new residents that are coming in, med students that are coming in, as they see what PAs do, how we collaborate them, how we make lives easier because like some of the things that they may not have time to do, we're able to do. I think it will be great. So the future is bright for the physician associate profession, you guys. I'm really excited about that. We are now called physician associates. Um, I am still a the PA. I am still a PA. I still love my job. It's still the number one job in the United States. Um, and I'm excited about what is in store for us. So if you didn't know about this, now you know, you heard it from me. Um, you can go look up some of this information, just kind of type it in in various different places and Google, you'll find it. And you can also go check out AAPA.org because that is where all of these news on what the PA profession, um, the new laws and things that are going into effect in the next coming years are being made. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University because we are still helping you get that C. It's just physician associate certified now. So go check us out at GetThatCUniversity.com and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!